Hi, I'm Dr. Jessica Marine Hansen, and today we're going to talk about recurrent respiratory papillomatosis. So, what is it? Um, recurrent respiratory papillomatosis, or RRP as we call it as an abbreviation, is when you get the human papilloma virus causing papillomas, which are warty type growths, usually um, around your voice box or your larynx. <laughs> Oftentimes, symptoms include having hoarseness, difficulty swallowing, voice changes, things along those lines. Um, the only way for us to diagnose this, however, is to take a look at your voice box. So to do that, you do have to come to a specialized person such as an ear, nose, and throat doctor so that we can take a camera and actually look down at your voice box or your larynx here in clinic. Usually based off of the visual appearance of it, we're able to make the diagnosis. You know, chest x-rays, CT scans, things like that are not really diagnostic in that it may show some changes, but without visually seeing it, uh, the radiologist wouldn't be able to tell exactly what was going on. Um, there's kind of a bimodal distribution of this disease, which means that we see it a lot in kids, very young kids, because they usually get it after birth from their parents. Um, and then there's also another high incidence in people around like their fourth decade of life, actually. There are therapies and treatments for this. Um, usually we do have to do this in the operating room and we have to go in and remove the papillomas or the warty growths. Um, there are multiple ways of doing this. We can use a little micro debrider, which is kind of like a little chomper upper that can remove the growths. We can also use a laser and now they even have something called a coblator, which is like a plasma wand to remove these. Um, some people will also use uh, antiviral therapy during the procedure where they inject the lesions with something called sedafavir. The diagnosis usually is something that is recurrent, therefore it often requires multiple type procedures um, to take care of it. So there is a small risk in some people that the papillomas can turn into cancer, usually a squamous cell carcinoma. So as we do the repeat procedures, we often take biopsies um, every few times just to make sure that your di disease hasn't changed into a cancerous form. Again, it's rare, but it's possible. So we always take biopsies and send them to the pathologist to look at it under the microscope to make sure you haven't had that change. And the problem <laughs> most people have is that not only will they have some hoarseness or changes in their voice, Oftentimes you get very short of breath. There can be cases where the papillomas are growing so intensely that they actually block off your airway. Those are emergency cases where you have to go to the operating room right away if we see things like that happening. So yes, it can be transferred to person to person. That's usually how a child gets it is actually uh, from the birth canal. We're thinking um, during uh, when the mother gives birth to the child. And the other form as an adult, we're not really sure how it occurs, but there is possibly some indication that it could be like a sexually transmitted disease, those types of things.